Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota in Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part two of four for the media journey, which is also known as the Cadet It's Your Story Tell It journey. Before we dive in, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So, um, continuing kind of di discussing media and all the different forms of media that we see in our lives, a big part of this journey is to create a survey where you um, gather a lot of information and opinions from the people around you. So when we are looking at a survey, there are lots of different ways uh, to conduct a survey. It could be um, online, like with an email, you could um, do a paper survey that you hand out, or you could do in-person surveys. Now, um, I know that we have um, a lot of limited options uh, right now, so this could be just surveying the people in your home um, in person. Or if you are able to call up people on the phone and conduct a phone survey, that's also an option. Um, and if you um, are doing any virtual meetings, that is also another way to conduct a survey. Um, so what are we looking for? What's our survey about? Well, our survey is going to be about media. So um, you can create your own survey, kind of customize it to um, your world and your life, but the types of questions that you um, might include on your survey might be like on a scale of 1 to 10. How would you rate the quality of media in your life from day to day? Um, what kinds of media play the biggest role in your life? And then you list off different types of media. So like television, books, internet, phone, um, newspapers and magazines, movies, music, and um, games. Either like on phones, computers, or video games. Um, another question that you could ask is what kind of media would you like to see less of and why? Um, what issues do you think media contributes to? Why? Uh, what kind of media would you like to see more of in your community? And um, if you could make one significant change in the media in your community, what would it be? And so what we're doing here is we are compiling um, as many voices as possible to kind of see what are a lot of people thinking about when it comes to um, media and the type of topics and issues that they see represented in the media. Um, and so this is going to be um, a very big part of the journey. Um, if you are following along in a book, um, the survey is really important. And it's also, um, if you're thinking about um, using this journey to help you um, in any other take action projects like your silver award, um, surveying is a really um, important and um, great tool to kind of gather information about your community and the people around you. So my challenge to you is to create a survey um, about media <clears throat> and um, distribute it to people in your family, maybe people in your troop, people in your community. Um, see how far you can get your survey spread. Another activity that you can do is something called Diversifying Beauty. If you are following along in the media book, um, why don't you turn to the Your Body, Your Friend section. That should be on page 48. Um, but basically, if you don't have the book, that's a-okay. Um, what you'll want is a pad of sticky notes or if you just have little pieces of paper and then you can um, use a roll of tape. Um, but I want you to write on each um, sticky note or slip of paper a word that comes to your mind um, to describe beauty. So other than like pretty and beautiful. So some examples could be colorful, sleek, elegant, awesome, bold, 
or simple, soft, unique, stuff like that. Um, as many as you can think of. Um, so then I want you to gather up your um, pile of sticky notes and I want you to kind of go on a scavenger hunt around your home and find an object that you think um, pairs up with that word. So maybe um, uh, there's a plant in your in your house that you think is really colorful so you could put the colorful um, paper on that or you know a piece of furniture or literally anything that catches your eye. I want you to pair up um, different items in your house with the um, notes that you have describing beauty. And then um, if you are able to um, then something that you could do is send someone else around your house with the same set of words and see what they um, pair up with the words. So maybe you put colorful on a plant, um, but maybe they put colorful on a beach towel or something like that. Um, just to see, you know, everyone has different perspectives and everyone has different opinions when it comes to beauty. So um, the whole point about this is that, you know, each of us have our own different tastes and preferences and these, our opinions, are so much more reliable and helpful to us than, you know, any universal standard of beauty. You know, it's, it's very easy for someone to just point at something and say, yes, that is beautiful, that is beautiful. And, you know, the people with the biggest voices are kind of setting that standard. But when we look at our own personal thoughts and opinions, those are so much more valid than someone else you don't know um, telling you, no, that's beautiful. Um, so if you can take a moment to do that exercise, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, just looking at, you know, all the items in your house and thinking, is this beautiful? And you know what? A lot of it is in its own very um, special and unique way. So that is something that I would love it if you could take, a, if you had a moment to do that. Um, so that is what I have in store for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you had a great time today and I hope you tune in next week. Thank you so much Girl Scouts. I will see you next time. Bye.